Hi, welcome to Queen's TV Profiles. My name is Alyssa, and today we're here with Miguel from Career Services. So welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So firstly, can you tell us a little bit about Career Services? Like, what do you guys do, and where are you located? Okay, uh, we're on the third floor of Gordon Hall uh, on Union Street. Um, we do a whole bunch of different things. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that people usually know about first is job postings on our website, for example. Um, but we have lots of other things we do. We have workshops on all kinds of different topics, um, from resumes and interviews, cover letters, um, how to figure out what you want to do after you graduate, uh, and specific topics like how to look for a summer job, for example. Um, besides that, we have drop-in advising. If you have a quick question, you need to talk to somebody. And we've also got one-on-one -on -one appointments with career counselors. Uh, like me and a bunch of other people that work here, uh, and other related employment services programs like the Queen's University Internship Program, uh, summer jobs like SWEP and all kinds of student jobs during the year. There's a lot of things that happen. <laughs> <laughs> so related to careers, what is your opinion about level of education? Do you think an undergraduate degree is sufficient for most jobs, or especially for art students, do you feel like a graduate degree is more appropriate? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, like most interesting questions, the answer is going to be kind of squishy. <laughs> and uh, it depends. So it really depends on what kind of job you want to do. If you wanted to be uh, in a profession that's regulated, like teacher or lawyer or something, obviously, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it also depends on what other things you have done. So if you have just gone to school and you haven't done anything interesting, like do QTV, for example, while you're a student, you're not going to have other skills necessarily. Um, so it really matters what you do outside the classroom besides your degree. And if you don't do those kind of things, no degree is going to be enough, really, no matter how you know, relevant or professional sounding it is, you really need to be engaged. So I yeah. think that matters, but also doing your research to know what the qualifications are for the program. For sure. Uh, some industries are more competitive, but often we might have an assumption that we need a master's degree or more training when it's not the case. So it's important to do your research. Okay. Do you have any quick tips about how to ace resumes or interviews? I think probably the most important thing would be to know your audience. All those things are communication. And in communication, you have to know your audience. Uh, and so for a resume, you can't write it if you don't know what it is they're thinking about, what they want. Of course. Uh, and that's the first point. So without that, you can't do it. But once you know that, then you can start focusing in your resume, in your interview, on all of those things. Um, so it starts from there. Beyond that, the most important thing, once you know what they're looking for in terms of skills or experience, is to be able to talk about it in a way that makes sense to somebody who's not you and doesn't live in your brain. Yeah. You need to have stories that are interesting that talk about that with examples and concrete results. So it's summer job hunting season. Do you have any tips or any little things that will help find a summer job or internship or even a career after university? Um, I think for summer jobs, people need to answer a couple of different questions to help them with their search. Uh, the first thing would be thinking about what it is you're looking for. So do you need to make money? Do you need to have some fun and adventure and a break from school? <laughs> you have skills you want, yeah. um, depending on your situation, right? And so once you have that in mind, then you can start thinking, where can I look for that kind of thing? Uh, and there's going to be job postings. There's going to be job fairs. But beyond that, really, you're going to need to start talking to people. Yeah. And this is going to apply for summer jobs, and it's going to apply for what I do when I graduate, too. And it's a lot easier to talk to people when it's interesting to you. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, for sure. So if I had to boil everything down, really, <laughs> besides do your research, think about things, yeah, uh, do some self-assessment, I would talk to people about stuff that you find interesting. So related to that, are there any opportunities specifically here in Kingston for students who want to get summer jobs or even just an internship or a career? In terms of Kingston specifically, we've got the Live and Work in Kingston Fair coming up in February. Okay. Uh, you can find out information about that on our website. A list of presenters or participants will be there. Um, beyond that, you can check any kind of region you want, whether it's Kingston or somewhere else, is going to have some key things to know about. Um, one for Kingston is like KEDCO. Uh, Kingston Economic Development Corporation. Mm -hmm. Toronto would have like the Board of Trade or a Chamber of Commerce in Ottawa or something like that. Yeah. And they'll have a directory <laughs> of employers in that region, usually to promote to other businesses, but we get to look at it too yes. for <laughs> jobs maybe. Um, 
and then there's going to be interesting government programs too. Uh, and so one um, is called My Summer Company, and that's affiliated with KEDCO through the Entrepreneurship Center, for example. If you wanted to start a, a company on your own, they would help you with training and money. Um, beyond that, there's going to be the typical employers that you might want to look at, um, like summer camps and recreation things, tourism, uh, outdoor work, land, uh, groundskeeping, farming, yeah. all those kind of things, which are typical summer employers. Uh, and they're looking for things that you have to offer. And that's the last thing to think about is, what do I have to offer somebody? Because you yeah. need to be able to articulate that to them. Uh, and a lot of the time we might think, I don't have any jobs. I don't have any mm -hmm. experience. Why would anybody <laughs> hire me? Um, but you've got a couple of things. One, being a student, you are hopefully learning how to learn. Yeah. Uh, and that's something that's really important to employers. They want to know that you're going to be able to pick up the job because they don't expect everybody to be able to do all of the components of the job. Yeah. But if you're willing to learn, you're a hard worker, um, and you can convince those, those employers about those attributes with the interesting stories, um, then you'll have an easier time of finding a job. So lastly, do you have anything that you'd like to add that you think would be helpful to students? I think the most important thing would be to get curious about things that are interesting to you and get engaged in those things by talking to people, getting involved on campus, off campus, and uh, just getting involved in your community too. Well, thank you for being on the show today, and thank you for watching Queen's TV Profiles.